Hello, this is Pastor Monty Erfan from Monty Erfan Ministries. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we are continuing our study of the book of Hebrews, and we're looking at different aspects of Revelation that really are buried into this fantastic New Testament book. As I mentioned before, this is like a treasure chest. When you go through the book of Hebrews, you can find all kinds of amazing revelation for the New Testament church that really brings back as a bridge to the Old Testament theology to the New Testament theology. It's like really the cross between the two brings brings everything that was into the revelation of Jesus into the understanding of what the cross has done for us in the New Testament. But today, specifically, I like to touch on something that is a little bit more novel, a little bit more different than some of the things that we have touched on before in the last few sessions in the book of Hebrews. It comes from the first and second chapters of Hebrews. And it talks about the person of Christ, the Son, the angels, and how we all fit into this great creation of God's, uh, of God's people, which in includes the angelic beings, the Son of God, which is Christ Himself in the flesh, and we as people of God in the church. So, in the first chapter of Hebrews, we, we just begin really by the first few verses, and I'm going to set this as a, a cornerstone of our study. He says, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets, and this is the Old Testament paradigm, this is the people of God in the old days before the coming of Jesus, through the prophetic word, it says, has in these last days spoken to us by his son. So, considering that we are in the last days, and that's really interesting because the word in the last days has been used here. Now, if I were to use that context to you today, we would not consider that uh, last days to be the times that Jesus came into the world. For us, the last days are now, the return of Christ. But remember, that from God's paradigm or God's perspective, the coming of Jesus set a whole new time frame for all humanity. The age of the law transferred into the age of grace. And the age of grace is the last days because this is the age by which we operate in and under until the return of the Lord himself. So for God, these are the last days. This is the time that we are dealing with the coming kingdom. And as, as Christ came, he declared the coming kingdom of God. And we are still in the revelation of the coming kingdom. So really, from God's perspective, in these last days, we have had the revelation of the Son. And that revelation is ever growing in the world. Every year, every day, more people, more nations, more, ki more tongues, more, more, more people groups are coming into the knowledge of Jesus. And through the, that knowledge, they're coming into the knowledge of the last days. You know, this has been going on for almost 2,000 years. The good news is that basically two days has gone since the coming of our Lord. And two days he was buried into the ground. And on the third day he rose again. I give you a good message. I'm going to give you a good report. The third day is coming. We're really at the cusp of the third day. And Jesus' resurrection is happening, which is the resurrection of his church and the coming of the greater kingdom. Now, we, and it says, um, he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he has made the worlds. Now, did you know that Jesus made all the worlds? Did you know that he is the creator God? Now, most people don't attribute to Jesus the position of the creator God, but that's true. And remember that in the beginning, that's the book of John, the first chapter, the beginning, the word was God, the word was with God, and the word became flesh. And then when you look at the book of Genesis, you see that it is God spoke, and when God spoke, things were created. So it's the spoken word that creates things. It's the spoken word that makes things. So it is the word that is the creative power. It is a spoken word that moves the Holy Spirit to do something. So the spoken word becomes flesh. Jesus is the word. So hence, by default, or by direct correlation, Jesus is the creator of all the worlds. So remember who has made you. Remember who has actually created you. Jesus is not only your savior, but he is also the word creator. Now, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, 
when he had by himself purged out sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Now let me just tell you that in that little verse, there's great attributes of Jesus that most of the time when you read the words, again, when you read the Bible, sometimes you, don't, you just don't want to scan through things real quickly. Take a moment, pause, and understand what, what these words mean. The Jesus is the express image of his person. This is, this is how you really know the Father. This is how you get to know him, the Father. It is by knowing the Son. The more you get to know the personality, the person, the, the way he thinks, the way he had, the way he reacted, the way Jesus reacted, thought, did things, the more you understand him, the more you understand the heart of the Father. People want to always get to know God. I always see that people say, I want to get to know God more. I wanted to get to know God more. I want to be more intimate with him. I want to understand how he thinks, understand how he behaves. Really is impossible because no one has seen God except the Son. So you got to understand the life of Jesus. You have to understand the way he lived, the way he behaved, what made him tick, what made him sad, what made him happy. And you know that's exactly how you get to understand the Father. If you enjoyed this clip, please feel free to check out the full version in the link located in the description panel below. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, help yourself to the diverse array of teachings located on this YouTube channel or on our website at glc.us.com.